Hi, I'm Ray and this is Leo, my Burmese cat. Leo is nearly five years old. He joined our family when he was just 14 weeks old. And the training method that I use to teach Leo how to use the toilet should be started when they're at least three months old and already litter trained. It was over four and a half years ago when I trained Leo and I only have photos from then. So today we filmed some more footage to try and piece together to show you how easy it is to train your cat to use the toilet and how stress-free it is for both your cat and for yourself. Leo is the star of the video and I'm very grateful to him and very grateful for him. At the end of the video, I answer my most frequently asked questions. So if you want to train your cat to use the toilet, do stay with us until the end. Leo is the second cat I have trained to use the toilet using the same method. I felt there had to be a better way than cat litter to help save the environment and save on the mess and smell and the cost of the cat litter. So I started to think outside the box. And I went to Google and I typed into Google how to train my cat to use the toilet. And discovered the gadget show had recently reviewed it, but it featured in... My top five silliest gadgets of the year. On the gadget show, as you can imagine, we get sent some fantastic technology and some incredible toys to play with. But we also get sent some, well, quite frankly, utterly ridiculous and pointless gadgets. So I've been having a little rummage around our storeroom and I've come up with what I think are the top five most silly gadgets of the year. At number one, it's the litter quitter. This is a cat toilet training system. It's been designed to train your cat to use your human toilet instead of a cat litter tray. First of all, you put the red insert inside your cat Lucy. I believe that they're going to production. This cat toilet, though, this is even funnier. Look, it comes with its own software. No. So you can actually train your cat to sit on your toilet to do its business. I don't know what's more ridiculous than that or this. Which but I was convinced it could work, so I ordered one. It said you can train your cat to use a human toilet in eight weeks or less. The litter quitter comes with a base plate, which is a special kind of toilet seat that fits all standard toilets, three training discs, red, amber and green, an instruction booklet, plus a 20 minute DVD with step by step instructions. The process starts by modifying the way your cat uses the litter tray. The red stage. Leo's litter tray was already in the bathroom, so he was used to going to the bathroom to use it. I replaced it with the litter quitter on the floor next to the toilet with the seat outer and the red plastic disc full of litter. I showed Leo and he was very happy to use this for his litter tray. After a couple of days, I moved the litter quitter up onto the toilet and put Leo onto it to show him. We taped the lid up so it couldn't fall and scare him. This stage got him used to jumping up onto the toilet to use the litter. I provided Leo with a step to make it easy for him to get to his litter. Again, he was very happy with this and I kept it exactly the same for about two weeks. We then progressed to the amber stage and replaced the red disc with the amber disc and filled it with the cat litter. Again, I showed it to Leo and placed him on it. He was curious about the hole and would peer through it. Going through the hole is hit and miss and sometimes he did it and sometimes he didn't. But that wasn't important. The main thing he was learning at this stage was confidence and how to balance with his paws on the seat. We used this for about three weeks. On to the green stage, which is when he learned to balance entirely on the rim of the litter quitter. By this stage, your cat will want to succeed as he has now established the toilet as his place to go. At the start, I helped Leo get his paws into the right place. If your cat is as curious as Leo, they will spend some time with their head looking through the hole. This is perfectly normal. They may even drink from the water in a flushed pan, as it is simply tap water and they drink far worse in the outdoors. I gradually reduced the amount of litter in the green disc, experimenting with none. And when Leo was going through the green disc without any cat litter, I removed the green disc and left the litter quitter base on the toilet for a few days before removing it. And Leo was happy to stand on the normal toilet seat. And Leo doesn't just use his toilet. Most mornings he joins me in our bathroom. 
You may notice your cat using a scratching motion with his paws. Leo sometimes does this after eating too. It's simply a reflex that makes your cat feel better about things. He doesn't need to have litter to do this. Cats bury their waste to hide the smell from predators. And as the water takes away the smell, the cat is satisfied. People always ask, can he flush? And of course the answer is no. But I think flushing the toilet is a lot easier than emptying a litter tray. Throughout the training, stay positive and patient don't rush your cat and if your cat is finding it hard to progress sit and watch the dvd with them seriously it works the first cat i trained to use the toilet with the litter quitter struggled to get past the green stage so i sat with him and we watched the video together and then he did it if you only have one toilet then you will need to be removing the litter quitter when it is your turn but this is only during the training process and for me it would be worth the inconvenience and yes, it does mean leaving the lid up and the seat down so the toilet is available to the cat at all times. How long it takes will depend on a number of factors like your cat's age, temperament, sense of adventure and their intelligence. I read on the Litter Quitter website that most cats figure it out in about eight weeks or so, as long as you are patient and understanding. Cats older than eight years might take a bit longer, and I hear the oldest successfully trained cat is Oscar, who started when he was 12 years old. What happens if they have to go into a cattery? Will they still use a cat litter? And I can tell you, yes, Leo has no problem transitioning from one to the other. The intention was for Leo to be an indoor cat, but in the summer he used to cry wanting to be with us outside. So we decided he could spend some time outside. For a long time he would always come back inside to use the toilet before going out to play again. But now he understands this is not necessary. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed the video. Please like if you did, do subscribe and turn on notifications. And as always, we look forward to seeing you in the next one.